body of work where I'm taking these surveillance technologies like speech recognition, things which would ordinarily be used for purposes um, of control, and then taking those things and sort of pulling out um, the bits of the, the human inside the algorithm, so trying to harness some of those um, techniques for something that's more creative. What we've done in the, in the, the work in Jaga, um, and I had a lot of help from Kieran on this, which was awesome was to basically pull a computer out of its shell, um, put it in almost like a jetpack looking structure, and then attach this on the back of this uh, very kind of figurative sculpture made out of the scrap metal that we've just gathered from the jog along. Okay. You know, I wanted to create a voice that embodied Jaga. And so I came and I listened and I watched and I paid attention to what Jaga was. And it was this collision between this really low-tech structure, palette racks, right? And then this high-tech, like projectors, computers, sensors. I felt like the piece should also be like that. Um, and so the voice is one element of this. Marchana and Freeman and Kieran and myself, and we all sat, we recorded our voices, and then I went through all of these files and basically was putting them together by hand. So going through each recording, labeling where the different sounds were in that recording, and then creating a kind of composite voice that put all of our voices together into a larger whole. So this is the voice that you hear. When you approach the sculpture, what you'll hear is this kind of a very bizarre voice. So in this case, um, the algorithm is learning to talk by pulling words from the internet. And what I've done is program it to try to speak those phrases in a kind of poetic form. Um, derived from Indian epic poetry. So each line attempts to have eight syllables, and then there's four lines that compose a verse. <laughs> 